How's it going, guys? Uh, I am continuing with the Swans to Be Kind album. I am now on Oxygen. And uh, I just want to give a thanks to everyone that's been watching these and um, commenting and liking and all that. It's, it means a lot to me. And it's really cool. It's like I feel like we built like a little community together just talking about this. So um, uh, I think it's really cool. I didn't think this would happen. I just did it just for fun. And now it's kind of becoming a little more than like something more you know so uh don't forget to check out my music channel it's in the description below if you can subscribe to that that'd be cool and i'm gonna put a new song in the description that i made just yesterday uh it's a cool little synth wave kind of thing uh i try to upload ideas every week and i uh they're they're not super serious ideas but they're like you know more of uh of, of exercises for me I do have serious music that I'm working on too, um, that I'm taking my time on, and uh, I'll give you some more information about that later. So anyways, let's get to the reaction. I like how this one has six people, or six babies. This is the main one right here, but I like how it has more. Um, I'm wondering if this is like the band members. I really like the padding in this on this album. The padding is really good. Whoever makes this stuff. So the first uh, kind of thing I'm thinking about is this reminds me of Primus. It reminds me of Tommy the Cat. Uh, there's a part in the song where Les Claypool does his voice like this. It's it totally reminded me of it. The placement on all the instruments is great in the in the mix.
Man, the drummer's kicking ass right now on this. Man, they really like to drown things out and just keep adding layers, keep adding layers. Like, I think I'm hearing a horn section in here now. Um, man, these guys are freaking nuts. <laughs> was their more a uh, beat song I think 
The drums are really sick on that song. Um, yeah, I don't even know. Like <laughs> every time I hear one of these tracks from these guys, it's like I don't even know what to say. Um, I just find it very, very crazy how they can like memorize all this and all the counts and stuff. You know, I mean, I don't know. If, I'm pretty sure that's what they do, but it's the songs are long, dude. Like they're like this one's like one of the shorter ones, and it's eight minutes. And um, just to play the same thing over and over, and you know, have to play it for a long time, and then all of a sudden you have to change into something else, like like eight minutes later or something. That's a lot of like counting. You can't just feel that, you know what I mean? Um, and if you can, then you're you're I don't know, you're a freaking nature or something, but. Um, I like this one a lot too. I like the end. The anxiety builds up with the horn section coming in, and then it sounds like they're pitch bending notes, like wow, wow. You know, that's like almost like a whammy pedal or something, or a pitch bender. Um, I don't know if they're—I can't tell if they're going up like a fifth and down or an octave, or I think it's like a fifth. I could be wrong. I've been wrong about a lot of stuff, and one of the, a buoy, I think his name is, he corrected me on a couple things, so thank you for that. Um, but yeah, really good. And uh, I'll do the next track tomorrow. Alright, have a good day, guys.